Uh, it's Monday. Time for Gen X. I ain't gonna say get up because I know y'all already up, ready for work or at work. So here we go. Uh, just quick update. I just wanted to let everybody know that those brownies I started making, um, you know, in my Easy Bake Oven are finally ready um, after you know 17 years. So if y'all y'all want one, let me know. And y'all remember, I just went through McDonald's and um, got my latte this morning. Um, mind your business. Um, but y'all remember when McDonald's, when we were kids, they had like that huge Whopper, like jail thing that you got into and you just holding on to the bars looking out like you were in a, you know, the big old hamburger. I miss that. They don't have that no more. Now they got the ball pits and like random stuff and some McDonald's don't even have a play area anymore. What happened? Where's the play area? That's the only reason we wanted to go there. Also, y'all remember the McDonald's ashtrays inside? The little, like, brown ashtrays with the big yellow M in them inside so your parents could smoke um, while they watched you um, damn near kill yourself on that playground? They ain't got that no more. Also, the little McBuddies, the little McNugget Buddies. Y'all remember those? They were the little chicken nuggets, and they were dressed up like a sheriff or a firefighter or something like that. They were like the, the little McNugget Buddies, I think they were called. They had good toys. I don't know what this shit is today, but... They ain't got the good stuff no more. And do y'all remember Pippi Longstockings? Y'all remember that movie of Pippi Longstockings? Like way back when? We were just enamored. Like, I want to go live at, at Pippi's house because there was no adults. She lived by herself. She had a horse and a monkey. And I was mostly impressed. Remember that she had that cream, whatever it was, that she put on the bottom of her shoes and then it allowed her to walk up the wall? I wanted some of that so bad. And, you know, kids nowadays are so um, kind of desensitized to things because everything's in your face. Everything, all the media, all the drama, all the celebrity news, all that. They get it um, instantly to their fingertips. But y'all remember the scandal that we were involved in? The Tanya Harding, Nancy Kerrigan scandal? Where Tanya Harding was such a hater, she took out her knee. She just ruined her whole career because she was hating. Oh, man devastating. I, I, I can see Nancy Kerrigan's face in my head right now when that happened. And Tanya Hayden. And do y'all remember those Avon glass cologne holders? They were like shaped like cars. And it had cologne in it. And it was probably like on your mom's dresser or something. And it had like some stanky old spice or something like that. Whatever your old grandpa wore. Um but yeah, there was a little like glass car and it had cologne in it. I never made the correlation between the two, but all right. And kids today in high school may be shocked to find out that once upon a time, like way back when, at high schools, there was a smoking section for high schoolers that you could go over there and smoke. Like your parents wrote a note like, hey, it's cool. Let, you know, Jimmy outside to smoke his Marlboros um, on break. And, and they would. They would let you go outside. He was in the smoking section. Not me. When I was in school, I was hiding in the bathroom um, smoking cigarettes. And it looked like the bathroom was on fire. And the teacher come in and was like, you been smoking in here? I'm like, absolutely not. I don't know what all that is. Maybe the bathroom's on fire. It's weird. Okay, bye. And then I remember being in high school. And one of the things that became all the rage was the leather jacket. The brown leather jacket. And it was only authentic. I don't know, remember what the brand is. I don't know because I didn't have one. I, I wasn't one of my rich. Um, but the leather jacket that on the inside of it uh, had the map. Like what brand was that? Y'all know what I'm talking about. But you was the epitome of cool if you had one. Folks would be out here at 80 degrees on break wearing their damn leather jacket. You look, I know you hot, Heather. Take that off. But it's Monday, about to go in here to this job. It's my first full week back after vacation, and I don't want to do it. I was driving to here, contemplating, you know, like, can I rob a bank? Like, could I get away with it? And I can't, because I'm not graceful, and I'd probably trip and fall on the way out. It. So, get, get on up, get on in that job, um, and make this money, and the weekend's going to come eventually, like it has to. So, you know, y'all be good.